October 21st. And this report here is totally different, but it connects with my prior videos and my prior predictions. Announcing 92 people are still unaccounted for. A lot of you have seen the floods, how towns were just swept away, entire towns in a violent flood. I mean, the flood was devastating. There's a lot of videos showing how devastating the flood was. I mean, it was tremendous. Took a steel container. Towns were wiped out. Out of all this, look at the, the flow of the water. I got something to show you. Okay, this, this report comes from Conservative Diva. Please listen to this. So... This Bible was found after the flood from Hurricane Helene. And it is on Revelation 14 and 15. Okay, the one that sticks out to me right away, this one right here, and this one right here, number 19. I think it's uh, chapter 14, verse 19. And the, and the angel trusts in him into the earth and gather the vine of the earth and cast it into the the great wine press of the graph of God. Chapter 14 and 15. Remember the flow, the violent flow of water and the pages did not tear apart. It was, this was left here like a message, like a reminder, like a sign. This is a sign because I've seen this before and I recorded it before where in a fire or tornado, the, the Bible was untouched. I mean, everything was destroyed. The house was destroyed, but they found the Bible untouched. And here, there are verses that I know sticks out to a lot of you. I mean, look at the page. Like, it's not even wet. It's not torn apart. Verse sticks out. 17, 18, 19, right here. His judgment is, is come. It's like the, the music video that I put a video on about Revelation. So we're getting, we're getting signs. We're getting warnings. We're getting the message here and there. What's happening now? Let's listen. 14 and 15. All the things destroyed, that was left open. And it's sitting there, and we're not touching it. So This house was buried and flooded all the way to the roof originally. The man that lived here had to be rescued off of the roof by a raft. And they were just emptying it, just demoing the entire house. And this Bible was found on a pole open the revelation now if we go to king james revelation 14 for example i'm not going to read it but i'm just gonna just see what sticks out and i heard a voice from heaven like the voice of many waters and like the, the voice of loud thunder that sticks out 144 that sticks out fear god and give him glory and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who makes heaven and earth the sea and springs of water and right here this definitely sticks out and another angel follows saying babylon is fallen is fallen the great city because she had made all nations drink of her wine of the wrath of her fornication and it goes on let's check out chapter 15 look at chapter 15 and we're at chapter 15 they sang the song of moses Okay, now I'm thinking out of the box here, and I'm please um, understand that this I'm not trying to I'm just just an idea that I was coming to my mind. This is chapter 17 right here. We saw 14 and 15. When John put this together, I mean, you see what chapter 14 Babylon the Great has fallen, but on chapter 17 it describes Babylon the Great right here. This is the one I've been for decades that is going to come. The meaning of the woman and the beast, color and purple. I already know and you know who it is. Because for this prophecy to, to be fulfilled, you will have to have, first of all, this is describing the mother of harlots, the, the nation, great abomination. On and on it goes. Destruction, fornication. Riding the beast, drunk with the wine of her fornication. The great harlot who sits on many waters, okay? Who is, the woman was arranged in purple and pearls, full of abomination. 
for fornication. And on the forehead was this right here. Basically, the one of the Antichrist. Now, here's, here's where I have to ask the question. What if, because it seems to be describing the nation, and then chapter 14 saying, it is fallen. It is fallen. But here it doesn't say it is fallen. And 18 it does. Chapter 18 it does say it's fallen. Let's go to chapter 18. Okay, in chapter 18 it continues the fall of Babylon the Great. And there's so, so much here. The world mourns Babylon's fall. It describes our country right now. So chapter 17 basically is giving us an idea who the mother of harlots is. Chapter 14 is already saying it's, it's fallen. It's fallen. What if chapter 17 seems to be out of place what if chapter 17 in reality is chapter 13 so let's move chapter 17 into chapter 13 and then you got 14 then you got 15 16 18 that would make more sense right because before it, it falls we don't know because sometimes you write something me for example i'm writing a report for example and then i put it down and then i oh wow i forgot i remember let me i forgot to mention so i write the report after after i did the preliminary investigation i come back with let me add this and i it seems and it's documented as that way but it's out of place i have to move what basically given the giving the description describing the place first before it gets destroyed does that make any sense that i lose 99.99 percent of the people already see we don't know but it seems like chapter 17 would be in a perfect like chapter let's put this put a chapter 14 and then move 14 to 15 and then 15 to 16 it has a continuous flow to it don't you think just my opinion my opinion only what i say and what I'm doing right now is for educational purposes, just offering an opinion and my opinion only. I could be wrong, so I had to put that out there. It's just food for thought that the Bible was open on chapter 14 and 15 in a tremendous uh, flow of water that bent a steel container like nothing. So that tells you the flow, the current of the flood and the Bible was on a pole open you know how many pages in the bible and to be open specifically to revelation 14 and 15 and with this 14 days or 15 days left we already see what's happening already there's already a lot of reports of a repeat of uh, even worse like i said they'll make 2020 look like kindergarten and they'll do it right in your face and they'll be revealed because it is stated somebody it was a pastor and minister that had the verse and i wish i would have recorded it and remember it a lot of you will remember it where they have to put out what they're gonna do next that's i guess that's the law of god and also too since we're living in those end times with the last pope you gotta understand all these other prophecies there's another prophecy that i want i forgot that i made a mistake of when i said in my last video that revelation 17 verse 5 was the last prophecy to be needs to be fulfilled before the, the great judgment but i forgot and i'm sorry i made a mistake we still have the george washington prophecy the third one basically this also talks about the dragon so there's more to the prophecy of George Washington, where the angel, we don't know which one it was, we don't know, gave George Washington uh, the prophecy of the Republic. And I want to do a video on that and come back and do a video on that. Okay, I just thought I'd throw this out there, just found it that maybe chapter 17, John later, because maybe he realized when he was reading, oh, I forgot to mention, describe who this mystery of Babylon is. Food for thought. Until next time, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you find this fascinating. I'm going to do the next video with the dragon. There's so much happening. This is going to be rapid. Red Dawn.